Hello coaches, my name is Charlie Stubbs. I'm really excited to visit with you today about offensive football and uh, share some ideas. I know we're all looking all the time as coaches to gain that edge. So today the topic that I'm gonna talk to you about is really utilizing formations, personnel groupings, motions and shifts, and I know that's kind of wordy, but the biggest thing there is to give you a lot of pre-snap ideas to try to dictate more to the defense and create matchup advantages for you offensively. I'm really excited about this topic. This is very important in designing an offensive uh, package, and I hope that it will be stimulating to you as you develop your offense. The first area I'd like to discuss is deals with personnel groupings. And again, as a coach, the most important thing that you can do or that you have to do is to get the best 11 guys on the field. And so that's when you're watching and evaluating, you need to have that in mind. I wrote the little statement here, a championship team must get their best 11 players on the field. I've been around many times where a coach may have quite a few running backs or be blessed with a lot of gifted receivers or tight ends. He's got to design his offense and his personnel grouping package that gets the majority of the time the best guys out on the field. An example on how you can do that is get your coaches as you work with your players quite a bit to rank your players. Rank them if you have 30 guys in your offense and rank them from one being the what the best player I guess all the way to number 30 and then it will really paint a picture about what type of offense you need to design and play in. Now some key points is that formations and motions. I like to utilize a lot of formations and motions within the offense because it allows me to dictate to the defense. And again, it can cause the defense to make adjustments and create specific matchup problems for them. So again, by having a multitude of formations and movements in your offense, again, you can dictate more to the defense. Now, again, by film study, you can determine, again, what puts the defense into a specific coverage. So, again, as you're studying, if you have a flexible designed offensive uh, ability to get in and out of formations, you can figure out how to lock them in that specific front or coverage for your advantage. So, you've got to be able to accurately predict the defensive alignment to a particular formation. Again, all of us study that. As we break down film, we study it by personnel grouping, study it by, of course, formation, motion, uh, if they trade the tight end, those things. How does it affect that defense? Because if you can minimize what they're doing or you minimize what you're going to see, then you can practice it better and be more efficient as you get your game plan in place. Now, again, the point here is you build an offensive system that is flexible. This will aid in disguising your offensive plays. Flexible. So when you're putting your uh, playbook together, you build a system. And sure, you don't use everything every particular game, but you have it in your system that, hey, yes, coach, if we lined up that way, that would be called this formation. So again, you have a, a system.